Hey guys, welcome to another Churchly tutorial. We are talking all things widget at the moment. We've gone through text and buttons and containers and icons and images and menus and now we're at search. Searching is uh, crucial on most websites they have a lot of content people are looking for things and if they don't see what they're looking for right away they're immediately gonna look for a search button where can I search to find it so we can add that to any one of our church list sites or funnels I wouldn't add it to a funnel it's not a whole lot to search there but on a site you might have a lot of pages you've created and a lot of content to crawl uh, like blogs and such so let's go over here to the widgets and you see our search we're gonna add the search to our header because a header is going to appear on every page. Anything you place in this header area above this, see the arrow pointing up, anything above that will appear on every page. So you don't want your search bar on just one page unless you've created some weird search page and that's where you want people to go to search for things. I would eliminate this step and add the search bar to the header. That way it's on every single page. So let's do that. Let's add the search bar. Um, Let's do it this way. We're in the header. You have several places you can add widgets here in the header area. You can even add a new section or row above this header. Let's add a search bar maybe next to our button, our plan, our visit button. So we'll click on the little plus sign. And you see there's header specific widgets. So let's just add our search. We'll go here to search. Bam, there's our search. We want to be able to search pages. You can search the store so that they can search for items that you've created in there, as well as the blog. And you can pl have some placeholder text here, search for, or you could type anything. Looking for something? So I like that maybe. Looking for something? That's going to appear there. We need to add some space between this button and this search bar. So let's grab this little blue line and that'll just add us a little distance. We need some distance, okay? You can work on the styling here, the background color, the text color, the border color, the, the font, let's choose Lato because that's our font that we're using. Uh, the padding is at like 12 pixels, that's fine. 30 pixels, it doesn't look like a whole lot right now because we need to, um, we need to refresh this page. I'll show you. The search bar actually looks very nice. Uh, it's rounded just like our button at the moment. So you can search for things. Um, let's just refresh our builder page here. So there, there's the styling. It, it's showing up for us now. It just doesn't right off the bat for some reason. We're working on that. So if you uh, click on the styling, you can again edit your background colors. I would, you can make it real dark and crazy, or I would leave it, you know, white or light, light, light gray, kind of subtle. The text color could be um, a little darker so people can read it well. Subtle border. Lato padding, you can make the padding a little bigger to match the button maybe. Uh, the border's at one, so you can make that real thick if you wanted. Or super subtle, you could even leave it without a border. The border radius is at 30, zero is square. Um, 30 is good, it's a good number. Border on all sides, so you could do a border uh, below. Let's see what that looks like. See, that's just the bottom border which kind of looks like a shadow almost which is kind of cool um, I like that but let's don't do that you could hide the icon or you could show the icon so a few options there to stylize it save it let's refresh our page up here I have a get rid of that anchor that we had on there let's just continue the website because we're in trial mode at the moment so now you can type for something let's type pastor and didn't find anything uh, because we don't have any content in it. Now keep in mind when searching. Searching does not crawl every word you've typed on, a, typed on a website. Okay, searching searches for images that have been tagged with words or it searches for titles of pages. Uh, so if we typed um, about, so we get our about page showing up or if we type on giving will get our online giving page to show up um, those types of things will show up um, on your search results but it does not crawl every word on your search results so that's why it's important to go through on your images and things and make sure you've named them proper names and you've given uh, 
pages descriptions, and we'll get into page descriptions later. Um, so I'm not going to show you that right now. Um, but just know that search results are not going to search for every, 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 every word on your website. It will search for titles of things and descriptions and titles of pages. Um, and that's pretty much it. It gives people pages they're looking for, not necessarily words on a page. If hopefully that's, that's helpful to you. So I hope this has been helpful as far as searching. You can put this search bar anywhere you want it, technically. I would just keep it either in the footer or the header because that's a normal place that people are going to reach for. They know it's there, um, so it should be there. Um, not in some crazy place they have to dig and find. So if that wasn't helpful and you still have questions, simply click on the need some help button. There you can find answers to your questions or click on ask where you can email us. We're really quick to email back or if we're available for chat, a box will show up here that says chat with us. You can click on this and we would love to help you out. Again, thanks for checking out this video and uh, we look forward to seeing you in the next video.